Hi everyone, welcome to your daily reading. I'm going to be using the Earth Magic Oracle cards and I'm using Healer's Gold to help me balance out the energies and I felt drawn to this because I feel like a lot of us need healing right now and with the retrograde coming up September 17th I feel like a lot of sensitive people as Doreen Virtue said in one of her videos that a lot of us that are sensitive are feeling the effects already and I just thought this would help bring some more healing to the reading today and I also got a candle to draw in positive energy so let me go ahead and call in my guides and your guides and all beings alike to help me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the cards and pick out three cards intuitively. I'm going to try to shuffle softly so I don't blow out that candle. Here's the first card. Here's the second card. And here's the third card. Okay, the first card is Fairies, Earth Magic. So I feel like with this card, it's tying into the weekly message about grounding and to really connecting with mother earth and possibly the fairies and just kind of bringing in some positive energy and some guidance from a more playful realm and just having us kind of balance out those energies and help us heal on more of a deeper level when it comes to not only physically but spiritually as well but I feel like a lot of us are going through a lot of, of emotional changes and it's causing us to feel drained and we just really need some more fun in our life and I mean healthy fun and to really know that spirits with us and I also feel drawn to the flowers and I feel like a lot of us kind of need nature right now but with the seasons you know changing if you can't get outside you know you can always bring plants into your house and fairies like shiny things so if you put like pyrite they like pyrite so if you put some of that by a plant inside your house the fairies might just bring in some energy that you have been needed needing for a while Okay, the second card is DNA Karma. So with this card, I just, what I heard was balance. And, but I also hear that you can't always, you know, give your control up to karma all the time. You have to, you know, not really take responsibility I mean we all do that we have to take responsibility for what we do but I feel like it goes more deeper than that that you know when we're feeling drained and we haven't had you know that energy of feeling you know playful and feeling you know magical or feeling like there's not enough miracles in our life we often get kind of I'm trying to find the right word I think we just kind of give up too much and not really try to seek out forms of creative outlets and possible steps to, you know, move on with our lives. And, you know, karma is always intertwined with our present moment and, you know, past and present and also the future. 
but I also feel like it's in our DNA to also kind of let loose for a while and just recharge our batteries. And I feel like some of our karma might need more healing. And that healing could come from meditation, being outside, working with uh, the fairies or spirit guides, uh, plants. I mean, it could be so many things, but I feel like what the messages that I'm trying to like tie together here with these two cards is kind of try to bring in an atmosphere or environment that makes you feel blessed, that makes you feel like even though there's karma and there's some things you can't change, you can still kind of relax and know that everything is going to work out for the best and there's no reason to just sit around and kind of let karma take control of your life in every aspect because we still have choices. Milky Way perspective, yeah. So it's, I feel like with this green here, you know, it has to do with our heart chakra, you know, the earth. There's a little yellow in this card in blue. And I just feel like those are supposed to be calming and restoring energies and restoring colors. So with these three cards, I just feel like they really want us to focus on healing Monday and, you know, celebrate, have fun. Bring in some positive energies like with your plants or working with pyrite and, you know, trust in spirit. Know that, you know, there is things in our DNA and our karma that we can't change. But what we can change, you know, make make sure you're having a fun time. Make sure you're bringing in positive energy and healthy and happy energy. But also be aware of your perspective at all times. And that's going to help you bring more healing into your life. So I hope this makes sense. And I'm wishing everyone a happy Monday. And thank you for watching.